G'day guys and gals, welcome to the briefing for the Toyota, Co-op Toyota Lightline Classic brought to you by Game Fish Tasmania. This is the compulsory briefing, we need you to like this or comment at the end of the video, let us know that you've seen it and you know what's going down this weekend. Okay, to kick it off with uh, a bit of info here, of course, you'll all receive a bag. Your gear bag is available at the moment from Moona Auto Parts 62 Hopkins Street, Moona. They'll be available at the ramp Friday night and Saturday morning. In there you'll find that your briefing notes look like that. We're going to run through the briefing notes shortly. A couple of bits and pieces before we get into that. We will be using the Tuna Club grid map. Tuna Club grid map. So, as you know, you'll use that through the Tuna Club radio room. On the back is all your leader length information you need to know. Make sure you get them right. Remember, it's not a competition to be as close as you can to those. You want to be under in case you get some stretch. Allow for the stretch. You're allowed to be under by as much as you like. You just can't be over. Okay. The uh, braid is allowed for broad bill only. Broad bill only. It must be 15 kilo max. Tag cards pick up and deposit. $50 refundable. Friday night at the ramp or at the club room Saturday morning by prior arrangement. The phone number to call to make a prior arrangement will be at the end in the credits on this one. Uh, ranges for myself, Dave or Cam. The rule of one fish per boat has been a bit of an issue this week. Okay, the one fish per boat is the interest of fairness to give everyone a chance of spreading the prizes across the competitors. One prize or one fish per team per boat, if you like. Except if it's a junior. A junior can win a prize and a senior or the boat with tag. One basically prize per team or per boat, if you like. So you can't win the highest point score and heaviest fish on the same boat. Even if they win the same same fish, two different fish, doesn't matter. hope they understand it. We'll have to look at that for the future. We're just trying to keep uh, the prizes spread across everybody if we can. There'll be rod checks Saturday morning on your boat. Make sure you haven't got anything over 15 kilo on your boat. If you're taking heavier stuff, we're going to want to put a tag on that to make sure you don't use it. Uh, lucky door prize. There'll be a Weber for lucky door prize. When you come off the ramp, you'll receive a ticket, put your name on it, you go in the drawer to win a Weber. Uh, Tuna Club grid maps already touched. Free barbecue at the end with a donation box to speak up, stay chatty. So if you're into that, it'd be great if you could uh, join us for that one indeed. That'd be fantastic. Okay, moving into the briefing notes now. Okay, so the uh, fishing will be at 7am. That'll be lines in at 7am, not boats in. You can start fishing from 7am until 3pm on the knocker. Weigh in from 3.30 until 5pm. Presentation will take place uh, following uh, the weigh-in, so after five. And of course, it'll be at the Tuna Club Club Rooms at Pirates Bay in Eagle Hawk Neck. Um, okay, so the prizes are obviously tag and release billfish, tag and release shark, highest point score shark, tag and release team for tuna only, heaviest tuna of the competition, highest point score adult, highest point score female. Adult and male adult, heaviest game fish by a junior and second heaviest game fish by a junior. There are all some pretty good, awesome prizes in there. You'll see, you probably want to be checked those out, but some pretty awesome prizes available there. Okay, there's also a bay competition. If you don't want to go out wide, just want to fish in your smaller boat and you have the gear to fish light. There's longest flathead, longest calamari or arrow squid in hood length, uh, longest gummy shark or and longest yellowtail kingfish. Remember, there's minimum lengths of those. Be careful. Okay, the prize will be allocated in a listed order and presented with a category schedule. The co category prize that remain unclaimed will remain the property of Gamefish Tasmania. One angler, team boat, can only win one prize, as we touched on already. Um, contest rules. The contest conducted by Gamefish Tasmania Sports Fishing Club. Contest and weather. The contest and weather committee consists of Steve Saul, Cam, Alimi, Adrian Morrisby, subject to change. Uh, of course, if there's a weather problem, we'll make the call on your safety, okay? Entries, one entry uh, form available online at Gamefish Tasmania Sports Fishing Club website. Uh, $40 per adult, $10 per junior. If you're a member of the Tuna Club, you get free membership. You don't have to pay your entry. For really, this usual club rooms and be cool people. Okay, uh, the team must consist of at least two people, two of them being Gamefish Tasmania or Tuna Club members, maximum of five per team. Uh, official entry form may be reproduced in the event of entries contest will be suspended or cancelled. Uh, refunds will be issued if needed. Uh, over the page. Contest rules. The Cup Toyota Lightline Classic is a non-sanctioned club contest. Non-sanctioned. It targets game fish including Southern Bluefin, Yellowfin, Albacore, Sharks, Broadbill, 
swordfish tag and release is encouraged, but uh, of course you can always do the uh, way if you think you've got a good fish, make sure it's over line class. Braided lines are excluded from all categories with the exception of broadbill swordfish and bottom fishing categories. 1st of April we get a change there with the new top shop rules, we'll catch you, uh, catch up with that, with that later on. All boats must, uh, sorry, all boats can leave and return from the nominated ramp of, of so you can go from four to skew, but you must nominate that. Game Fish Test Committee asks that all vessels leaving from ports and ramps other than Pirates Bay advise GFT Base before you leave via SMS, prefer VHF Channel 73. Uh, the numbers to get in touch with people for that will be uh, put up at the end of this, but 73 is Tuna Bay, 73 on VHF. Uh, all vessels uh, participating in the Co-op Toyota Lightline Classic must log in by VHF Channel 73, or if you can't get that SMS, uh, to the base prior to departing port. So make sure you log in before you depart. Uh, when teams have finished the day's fishing or leaving the nominated contest area, they must first log off preferred 73 or SMS. Relaying through another vessel is acceptable at the end of the day. Any vessel that cannot comply with this will be disqualified. Uh, number of rods, maximum minimum line class. Any number of rods may be fished, but in the case of multiple strikes, only four fish may be played at any one time. Anglers are reminded that only one fish hooked on rods, uh, which are picked up immediately after the strike, are eligible for record claims. Um, uh, so, okay, minimum line class is four kilo for this challenge, maximum 10 for tuna. Okay, fishing boundaries. Contest boundaries are the perimeter on the grid map with no exceptions. Please use the grid map provided in your info bag. Fishing outside the boundaries will not be tolerated. Any anglers or teams found fishing outside the agreed to boundary will be disqualified. Uh, fishing, uh, sorry, fishing time's already done that one. The president shall announce the fishing can begin. Get ready for the radio and advise at the conclusion of fishing. The president, boy. Okay, safety regulations. All vessels are required to comply with safety regulations and equipment regulations as presided by MAST. Offshore marine safety requirements. Offshore, if you're fishing offshore, it's mandatory for all competitor competing boats to submit a vessel, excuse me, a vessel detail form and a copy of their insurance policy. All vessels must log on, as we've said already. Um, all boats will then be called hourly on channel 73, commencing at 20 to the hour. That's 20 to the hour. Be ready for that. It's different to normal. 20 to the hour. Every hour until fishing is finished, the vessels must report their grid positions. Uh, using boat to boat relays and using coast radio Hobart for relay assistance. If GFT base does not contact, not make contact, it is on the onus of the skipper to then wait to the end of each base radio sked and arrange with another vessel to relay your position to Tuna Club base or the contest uh, coast radio Hobart. Sorry, or coast radio Hobart on channel 16. Um, for radio relay assistance uh, back to the GFT base or Tuna Club base. Uh, all vessels to log on prior to contest with a vessel name, number of persons aboard and nominated adults and juniors aboard. First uh, and each subscription hourly schedule you must report the following. Vessel name, position on the grid rat reference using the phonetic, phonetic alphabet, number of fish captured, type, tag and release. This is compulsory. Check it out. Number of fish captured, the type of fish, the tag, and released or kept, obviously, compulsory. Final scared report the vessel's name, position in the grid reference, number of fish captured, type tag and released, any fish that intend to be weighed, estimated time of arrival, and tuna base you still have a fish to play, let us know so we can work out what we're going to do there. Failure report on scares, you're out. Just don't fail your report, it makes it hard for everybody. Boats wishing to talk to each other are asked alternative channels and keep designated VHF channel 73 clear. That'd be fantastic. Tasmanian recreational fishing rules apply, so don't forget uh, you're only allowed to have, well, sharks have a minimum weight of 60 kilo or broadbill have a minimum weight of 60 kilo. Uh, and capture limits, of course, one billfish per day, one shark per day, four bluefin per day. Please note one angler, oh, that's in there again. Uh, point scoring system, point scoring system is explained in here. I don't need to go into that, you know, to work that out. I'll give you a hot tip, if you've got a GoPro or you've got a camera on your phone, film the fish. If it's going to be a good fish and it's going to go for a record or a prize, you don't want to go through all that, oh, I bet you he caught that on a 15, I bet you he caught that on a 24. Just take a little film of it. Take a film of the angler, take a film of the reel, take a fish of the lot, film of the line and the fish. There's no argument, okay? That makes it easy. Everyone's got access to that these days, surely. Um...
tag man will sort out your tags when you get back into club rooms. There's your point score once again for your fish. You'll be able to work that one out. Uh, weighing and cleaning of fish, of course. Make sure you clean up all your mess. Don't leave it on the jetty. Clean up yourself at the weigh station. That's a big one there. We don't want to leave a mess there. Uh, on your tag fish, make sure your pictures have a, a date and stamp on them. That'll be good. Uh, the contest committee will appoint weigh masters. That'll be Pete and Andy and maybe Shane at the moment. All fish to be weighed at the weigh station at the Turner Club, of course. All fish will be weighed on a certified set of scales. Fish will only be weighed in gulled and get, sorry, gilled and gutted or sashimi style. If you want to weigh that fish, gut it and gill it. Thank you very much. Uh, no additional values will be added for clean to fish. After weighing, it's the angler's responsibility to remove the fish and clean the weigh station. Committee reserves the right to reclassify, refuse entry of any team or individual, settling disputes and make decisions on variation relating to conduct of the contest. In all cases, any decisions made will be binding and final. Uh, the committee reserves the right to test line classes, random check rods, reels and tackle and place observers on other boats. Hmm, interesting. Any protests will be lodged with the contest with the committee in writing within 30 minutes of the close of fishing. So you've got to have your uh, protests in within 30 minutes of the end of fishing. Contest numbers. I'll put them up again later, but there are the people you need to contact. If you want to pick up your bags, you're going to be late, you need to get your tags, get those numbers down. Also, if, you, if your VHF dies, you'll need to SMS one of those cats there. And uh, that pretty well covers us. Don't forget, though. When you're on the radio, you're sitting on 73, you should also be scanning on 16 for emergencies as well. So don't get stuck sitting on 73. Any questions, post them below here in comments or come straight at one of us with our phone numbers. I know I've missed a fair bit, but I don't want to go on too long. It's 12 minutes already. I'm hoping for a cracking day. One more thing which is new too, what I've forgotten about. Andy's made us up these wild scorecards, okay? One of them is for tagged fish and one of them is for captured fish. Fill them out before you come up to the weigh station or before you go in to get your, to hand your tags in. So you just hand it straight to the guide. There it is. You've got your angler's name, boat name, line class, fish species, fish weight, angler category, rah, rah, rah. And with your tags, you've got line class, fish species, rah, rah. It's a good thing. Thanks to Andy for brewing that up. Fantastic stuff. That's about it, fans. Uh, we'll see you down at Eagle Hawk Neck. The weather looks cracking. The fish, a little bit few and far between. There's talk of going wide, going close. We'll see where it goes. But for now, thanks to our sponsors, of course, Cup Toyota, Spot On Fishing in Town and Shimano, and uh, everybody else that's got behind the club. Should be a cracking event. See you in there Friday night. Right on.